I'm going to kick up the spice level on this vlog and reflect on a tired old doomer in this space who recently hung up his hat. I don't know how I just caught wind of this a month later, but it occurred to me to check his page and see where he's at. And apparently he has given up. Understandably, his message was tiresome and frankly dull. It was like fast food, doomer porn, junk food for the brain. If you aren't aware of who I'm talking about, his name is Sam Mitchell. He's badmouthed me to the nth degree on his channel. And now is my time to just say good riddance. Because you made it about yourself. Your message was dull and tiresome. And I know I'm going to lose subscribers from this, but understandably so. You were much better off doing interviews and providing data and information, which is what others like to see, okay? Your little cult following of people who just listen to you rant off, F-bomb this, F this, we're F'd, we're F'd, we're F'd. Duh. Obviously. Anyone takes a moment to look at this can recognize that. So it was understandable that you hit a dead end, okay? Even Paul and me and others in this space um, will tell you that the chances that we come out of this okay, that we stabilize, which we won't, okay? All of those coming new to my channel and think, oh, the elite will take over once we stabilize. We're not stabilizing. It's going to continuously, exponentially get worse because we aren't drawing down carbon. We aren't um, stabilize. We aren't reducing the impact that we're having on the planet. We are an overshoot and we continuously breed and continuously manufacture, create polluting energy infrastructures and societies that are teeming with violence and division all over the world. We're going to hit five, six degrees Celsius by 2050, probably at this rate. It's accelerated warming. So I'm not even making this video about me, but, but the emphasis here is, yes, we're doomed, but we are still here witnessing this. And to be aware of what's in the pipeline, even in the next few months to few years, is enlightening. Information will set you free. I'm glad I became a doomer. It was painful at first, like anything. The loss of something is just... All it crushes your brain and your psyche, it, it pops your bubble. You know, every all your value system, what you what you interpreted as important. I had a subscriber, Orion, tell me not take life so seriously. You know, people who tell me that, I think, like, what the hell do you do? How do you take your life? It sounds like someone who doesn't do anything with their time, you know, doesn't provide real any benefit to anybody or anything. How seriously should I take it, Orion? Tell me. You're banned, but should I, you know, enough to brush my teeth or to go make a paycheck so I can see a better tomorrow and help other people? How se On a scale of 1 to 10, just tell me how seriously should I take it. Can you tell me across the world some deluded space who's not in my shoes or my position? All kinds of people I've banned over the past few weeks. The psychotic delusions to come out of their little hole and tell me how to live my life or what I should value, where I should go, who I should talk to. It's delusional and psychotic. Psychosis, tuned out of a reality of what's actually happening to other people and what they're going through. If I wanted advice, I'll ask. But back to the point. Yes, we're effed. Everyone agrees that by now. But still, this is the greatest show that ever occurred. You know, it's your value system. This person wanted to get a girlfriend and, you know, to sell real estate property and, and, and so on and so forth. Like, if that's what you value, then you have two, you're leading a double life if you try to talk about the predicament that we're in and you have these extrinsic goals. Then, yeah, they're obviously going to be in, in disagreement with each other, not congruent, you know? But I'm living this life. If you choose to live the life of telling the truth and being present, awake and aware 
to what's happening, documenting it, informing other people of what to expect in the pipeline. What can we, what can we realistically expect to see to tam tamper our expectations and our, um, and our experience ultimately, you know? Of course it's easy to say, I told you so to deniers and normies and I'm very, you know, was very uh, harsh on normies. And, but I frequent with them every day. I talk to people, normal people, all the time, every day. Mailmen, nurses, I'm in and out of buildings, you know. In my real day-to-day -day personal life, I'm very normy, okay? I'm a very calm, normal person. But this is passionate work, you know. You either have it or you don't. And if your value system, again, I say, is on... Acquiring wealth, assets, you know, whatever, companionship. Like maybe you have to tamper some of this down. I've already expected I will not find a woman that will accept me for all of my flaws, snoring included, not have children, have a sense of humor, don't want children. Okay, I should have said that in different order, but you get what I'm saying can love me for all who I am and is anticipatory of what is to come. <laughs> not gonna happen. It's expectations. It's not gonna happen. Can I still live in a community and grow, you know, grow together and experience life and have play music and have dinners together? Yeah. But there's just certain things you gotta give up. Sacrifice. If you choose a certain path. You know? So I saw it coming. I saw it coming, and I'm surprised it wasn't sooner. And I hope he just stays out for good because he provides no value to anybody. And all the people who watch him are just little um, cult like followers, just want to fix. You know, they just want their. And he, he's powerful in that. His video, his quality sucks. His. his the video isn't good, but what he makes what he makes use of is his voice, and that's what I mean. Hitler was powerful in voice, but he would not have been good on TV, just like Trump isn't good on TV. Apparently, that's you know, I mean he is, and he's a lot loud, hot character. Someone just sent me the um, something about violence as identity in our culture and and peoples around the world. You know, movies and. Um, Radio make people look good, but TV and in real life, not acceptable. So this is my chance to throw it back in his face because he talks so much crap, and to see him finally narcissists, you know, about themselves and and message effed were effed, you know, finally crash and burn. It's like, duh, you had it coming. Saw that. Surprise, it wasn't sooner. You fucking clown. And his whole entourage, Environmental Coffee House, all, all that whole clique, you know, Justin Lesso too, the little twerp, like fan fetishizing about Arctic, about numbers, you know, getting so specific. No, take a step back, look at the whole picture, provide data, be informative, make it probably a little entertaining, make some humor into it. There just needs to be some fresh faces. There needs to be more innovative truth tellers in this space who aren't so self-absorbed, okay? You like all my hand gestures? For real. And I know the people who subscribe to me, I'm not asking for your loyal allegiance. You can come and go as you please. There's been people in here that I still think, like where they wrote comments for a while, but where are they now? They come in and they go, and this is just the nature of the game. You don't get hung up on it. You come here, you learn the truth. If you wanna be an observer with me, as we collapse together, as we try to find our way in this world that's gone completely mad, completely off the rails insane, okay? Everyone is berserk, you know? I saw some girls today, young girls today at, 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 the rest, at this breakfast joint just flipping through. The, all, all three of these daughters just, just so addicted to their and, and, and women and men are um, women more particular are very socially uh, inf very socially motivated 
that's how they, they keep, you know, they know the, the what and the how. And they're just scrolling, flipping through pictures, and, and I mean, there's like, uh, it's like a, someone who's like manic, you know? What's my point? We've gone berserk, and, and from front to back, we are completely out of our fucking mind. Okay? So I don't regret going down this path at all because at, although at first it was um, overwhelming, it set me free. It reorientated myself in this fucked up world where we are destroying ourselves left, right, and center on what to value, what's important. Um, before, I might be obsessing about like, you know, maybe how many friends I had or how much money I have. Like, if you are greedy like that or you get obsessed with a, these human-centric goals, you will never be content. That's a fact. You know? So, I'm taking a bit of a hiatus break. I, I told you guys that. You know, I do that for my own mental sake because I'm absorbing this information as much as you are, as much as I'm presenting it, like animal extinctions, you know, records being broken, like it's a lot of information, a ton of bricks to keep falling on your head, even though I am doing the duty of reporting it, I still, it's like a process trauma that I still have to like, you know, shield, put boundaries, you know, just say farewell, and I hope you don't come back on this space, because your work was pointless, and to everyone else, Welcome back and continue this journey with me as we understand what's happening to our natural world, being a part of it. Okay, mental health is important. I understand taking breaks and I responsibly tell you that. Okay, as I did in this video and many times before, I might take some time off, go do a hobby or two. But, but still, this is the greatest story ever told. This is all of humanity, our future, everything we've ever known, and what to anticipate, what can we expect to see. As even Paul would say, many will die. You know, we are an accelerated, at least half a degree centigrade warming per decade, tipping points being crossed left and right. As soon as we hit one point, we, we get a full stabilized years of 1.5 and over, we're gonna, we're gonna see the most insane shit unfold that we've ever seen in human. Never, ever, okay? And wow, grab the popcorn. What a spectacle. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Have a good week.